Okay, good afternoon. Our topic today is all about the slope of a line. The objective, to find the slope of a line given two points on the line or its graph. So, it means we can find the slope of a line by using two points na kung saan gagamitan natin ang formula or by using graph. So, ibig sabihin, kapag may graph tayo, makukuha din natin yung slope. This is our week 5, first quarter, topic 3. Okay. What is slope? If x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2, the slope of the line through the distinct points p sub 1 with ordered pair x sub 1, y sub 1, and p sub 2 with ordered pair x sub 2, y sub 2 is slope is equal to rise over run equals the change in y all over change in x is also equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 or y sub 1 minus y sub 2 all over x sub 1 minus x sub 2. Okay. Yung rise over red, kinagamit natin yan kapag ang given natin ay graph. So, ibig sabihin, gagamitin natin yung rise over run, run to find the slope of the graph. And next, yung y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, gagamitin natin yan to find the slope with given two points. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong two distinct points dito, then gagamitin natin yung formula na yan. So, it means we have two methods para makuha natin yung slope. Okay. Example, find the slope between negative 3, 6, and 5, 2. So, here, by using graph tayo. So, ipaplot natin yung dalawang points. So, yan. Then, construct a line. So, here we need to find the slope of this given line. So, let's say ang starting point ko is negative 3, 6. Then, we want to find the slope from negative 3, 6 to 5, 2. So, ibig sabihin, mag-start ako ng negative 3, 6 papunta sa 5, 2 by using rise over run. Since ang target ko ay 5, 2, bababa ako ng apat na beses. 4 units. Bilangin mo yan. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. Stop ako kasi target ko ay yung 5, 2. So next, means nag-down ako, so magiging negative siya. And magra-run ako ng to the right, so magiging positive naman siya. Kapag magra-run ako ng to the right. So magra-run ako ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, by using rise over run, meron akong negative 4 over 8. Then, get the lowest term of that given fraction is negative 1 half. So, ibig sabihin, ang slope ng line na yan ay negative 1 half. So, it means since itong line na to ay may mga infinite numbers of points, kapag kinuha natin yung mga points dyan or kumuha ka ng dalawa, meron siyang given na slope na negative 1 half. Try natin to. From this given distinct point, kay negative 3, 6. Check natin kung negative 1 half yung slope. Bumaba tayo ng isang beses. 1. Tapos to the right tayo ng dalawang beses. So, 1 half. So, ibig sabihin, all points here, kuha ka dalawa with a slope of negative 1 half. Next. Try naman natin gamitan ng formula. Same given lang tayo. m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. m here, we use the letter m, small letter m, to represent slope. So, ibig sabihin, kapag may nakikita na kayong small letter m, ibig sabihin nun ay slope. First thing natin gagawin natin ay, i-assign natin kung sino yung may x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay. Ang ginamit ko dito, x sub 1, y sub 1 ay si negative 3, 6. And x sub 2, y sub 2 ko ay si 5, 2. Isa-substitute lang natin yung mga value nila rito. Si y sub 2 dito ay si 2. Si y sub 1 ay si 6. Then si x sub 2 ay si 5. And si x sub 1 ay si negative 3. Sir, pwede po ba ang y sub, x sub 1 ko ay at x sub 1 ko and y sub 1 ko ay Yung 5, 2, yes. Pwede yun. Since ang ginamit ko ay itong dalawa lang. 
So, pwede magkapalit yan sila. So, substitute natin itong kakalupasan. Okay. M is equal to 2 minus 6 all over 5 minus negative 3. At ang sagot ay negative 4, 8. Okay. We subtract the two number here. Ang sagot ay negative 4. By using KCC, mayiging negative 6 to. 2 plus negative 6 is equal to negative 4. Or, simply lang na, subtract the two number, kaya siya naging negative kasi mas malaki yung 6. Sa baba naman, bakit natin ina-technique dyan? Kapag may nakita tayong dalawang negative sign or minus, i-add ang dalawang number, then copy the sign of the first number. Ito. Since positive to, kaya naging positive yung 8. And, dalawa yung nakita natin minus or negative, that's why I add, kaya naging 8. Then, get the lowest term, negative 1 half. So, ibig sabihin, kahit anong method ang gagamitin natin, makuha natin yung same slope. Next example. We need to find the slope of a line yellow, blue, red. Okay. Dito gagamitan natin sila ng dalawang method. The graph, by using graph, yung rise over run at saka yung formula. Okay. Yellow muna tayo. Ang target natin is yung 3, 9, 2, 11, 2. Yung ginamit ko. So, ibig sabihin, bababa ako at to, to the right sa kanya. Bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, therefore, negative 7 yung rise ko. Kasi pababa. Then, to the right tayo ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, since to the right, positive yung run ko. So, meron tayong negative 7 over 8 na slope. Then, by using the formula, 2 minus 9 is negative 7 and 11 minus 3 is equal to 8. So, we have the slope of negative 7 over 8. Yung slope natin ay negative. So, obviously, kung napapansin nyo, pababa yung line na yan. Next naman yung blue. Target natin, start tayo kay 11, 2. Papunta tayo dito kay 5, negative 2. Okay. Start tayo since pababa ulit ng 1, 2, 3, 4. Means, ang rise ko ay negative 4 kasi bababa. Then, magto to the left ako. So, therefore, negative yung run ko. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, I have negative 4 over negative 6. So, by using the formula, negative 2 minus 2 is equal to negative 4. All over, 5 minus 11 is negative 6. Katulad nung sinabi ko kanina. Kapag may nakita tayong dalawang negative or minus sign, add natin yung two numbers, then copy the sign of the first number. Since negative 2, that's why naging negative. Next. Next is yung red. Continue lang natin. Since alam na natin to ay negative 7, continue natin bilang pababa. Negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, negative 11. So therefore, yung rise ko ay negative 11. Then yung run ko to the right ay 1, 2. So negative 11 over 2. Ayan. Add natin yung two numbers. So that's why we have negative 11 over 2. Next, find the slope between 5, 4, and 5, 2. So, by using the formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, I assign who's x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. Substitute lang natin yan. y sub 2 is 2, y sub 1 is 4 all over, x sub 2 is 5, x sub 1 is 5. So, meron tayo nitong solution na 2 minus 4 all over 5 minus 5. So, 2 minus 4 is negative 2 all over 0. So, therefore, 0 yung denominator natin. So, the slope is undefined. Tandaan. Kapag 0 ang denominator, the slope is undefined. Though the slope is undefined, means may graph dapat yan. So, we want to determine what kind of graph kapag ang slope ay undefined. So, try natin i-graph yung dalawang points na yan. 
Ayan. Plot natin yung two points. Then, yung nag-construct ako ng line, ayan, obviously, vertical. So, therefore, by using graph, ang graph ko ng undefined ay vertical line. Tandaan yun. If the slope is undefined, the graph is vertical. Or, if the slope is undefined, the line is vertical. Next. Find the slope between 5, 4 and negative 3, 4. So, by using formula, then assign x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. Substitute ulit. y sub 2 is 4. Ayan. y sub 1 is 4. x sub 2 is negative 3. x sub 1 is 5. So, substitute natin dito. So, ayan. So, meron tayong slope is equal to 4 minus 4 all over negative 3 minus 5. Okay. So, 4 minus 4 is 0 all over negative 8. So, therefore, our slope is 0. Then, kahit ang slope natin ay 0, may graph pa din yan. Kasi, kapag pinlat natin yan, 5, 4 and negative 3, we construct a horizontal line. Ayan, kung napap nakita na. So, we have a horizontal line. So, therefore, if the slope is 0, the line is horizontal. Or, if the slope is 0, the graph is horizontal. Next. So, here we, na we need to remember. If slopes can be positive, negative, 0, or undefined. Or, no slope. Vertical lines, yung patayo, have undefined slope. Tandaan yun. Next, horizontal lines, yung mga pahigang line, have zero slope. And lines that rise to the right have positive slope. Ito yung from left to right, pataas. Yung from left to right, pataas pa ganun. Positive yung slope. And next, kapag yung line mo naman from left to right, tapos bumaba pa ganyan, you have the negative slope. Thank you.